Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering video. Today our lecture is about the in-plane and out-of-plane loading acting on any structure member. First of all, I have to define the in-plane and out-of-plane loading and then I will explain with the help of these figures. So the in-plane loading, it is the loading acting along the axis of the surface. The loading which is acting along the axis of the surface is known as the in-plane loading. While the out-of-plane loading it is the loading which is acting perpendicular to the surface of the building is called as out of plane loading. So now consider the wall, the slab and this is the wall slab. This is the slab and this is the wall. So with the help of these figures, these three figures, I will explain the difference between the in plane loading and the out of plane loading. Let us consider the first example of wall. This is a wall and this is the surface of the wall and these all are the sides of the wall. So, the vertical loading acting on this wall will be the along the axis of the wall. This is the axis of the wall and the load is also acting along the axis of the wall. So, we call this type of loading as the in-plane loading because it is the loading along the acting along the axis of the wall, along the axis of the surface. This is the axis of this wall. You can see here, it may be the y-axis. So, the loading which is acting along the axis is known as in pin loading. Why? If the load is acting perpendicular to this surface, to this surface of the wall, there is a loading acting which is a lateral load, maybe the wind load or the earthquake load. So, the loading perpendicular to the surface, this loading is now called as the out of plane loading. So, this is the 2 and this is the 1. So, 1 will be the in pin loading, 2 will be the out of plane loading. Similarly, the load which is acting along this axis of the wall, which is also a low lateral load, but here it is also along the axis of this wall. You can see here, this may be the x axis or z axis. So, this load is also acting along the axis of the wall, not perpendicular to the axis. So, that's why it's also called as the in pin loading. Now, let's consider the slip. The load acting on the slab from above, it may be the dead load or live load, the load coming of the, from the furniture, from the people moving on the slab. So this is the vertical load coming on the slab. So this load which is perpendicular to the slab surface, you can see here, this load is perpendicular. So this load now is called is out of plane loading. It's two, out of plane loading. Now when the load acting along this axis on the slab, which may be the wind load, so the slab axis, now this is along the axis of the slab. You can see here, this is along the axis of the slab, so we call this type of the loading is the out in plane loading, in plane. Similarly, considering the wall slab example, in which there is a combination of wall and slab, so this is the slab at the top and this is the side, you can see it the wall. So the load, which is perpendicular to the surface. You can see here, this is the perpendicular to the surface. Similarly, from the above on the slab, we have perpendicular load acting on the surface. So, these two types of the loading is called as the out of plane loading is categorized as number two. While the loading which is along the axis of the slab, this one which is along the axis of the slab, you can see here, this is acting along the axis of the slab or along the axis of the wall, along the axis of the wall, this is the wall, so along the axis of the wall, this load is acting, so this load acting along the axis of the wall surface is known as the in pin loading, this is also the in pin loading, hope you guys understand the main difference that the load perpendicular to the surface will be called the out of plane loading and the load axis and the load acting along the axis of the wall surface or the slab surface is known as the in pin loading. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.